Hey guys, welcome to the Testing Academy. My name is Pramod and welcome to the 30 days API testing challenge day 22, right? I hope you are doing fine and the today task here is that basically we need to discuss about the biggest frustration with the API testing. I'm going to discuss about few things. I've been into this industry for more than eight plus years now as a software tester and I've been doing like API testing for nine, nearly five years. So I'm going to discuss about my biggest frustration with the API testing. I hope you are excited. So let's get started. All right, guys. So uh, before we start, guys, I just wanted to highlight that we are on a mission to master the API testing, and this is the day 22. And if you haven't watched the previous to previous tutorial, the previous date, I will highly recommend you because those contain Im insane values and definitely free of code that you can enjoy. Right? Uh, we have learned quite about the Postman tool that is basically used to API testing. Right? And you can learn all these things uh, even as a beginner. Right. If you have no experience in API testing, definitely you can uh, basically watch them and learn it. Right. So uh, all the resources related to this uh, tutorial are available here. You can go to the all task, basically spoltest.com slash API slash task. Uh, all the tasks are listed here. Uh, if you want to specifically uh, read the thread about this topic, you can go to this link. Third thing is all about the resources. So if you want to download all the resources related to the 30 days DPA challenge, you can go to that link, right? So these are the few points that I, read, I would like to uh, talk about. Uh, so basically, uh, biggest frustrations with API testing, right? So uh, I'm going to talk about that. Okay, so I have been into this industry, right? And uh, so I have automated lots of uh, API. I started with Postman. And after that, uh, we have automated into rest assured where we have used a native Ruby client. We have used uh, PyTest plus certain request library to automate it, right? So I have seen lots of different API testing tools to basically automate it, uh, APIs. End to end APIs, we have automated, uh, we have automated uh, microservices and all, right? So the biggest problem, the first problem that I wanted to discuss is that the biggest problem is debugging the API means how this API behaves particularly and if these APIs are not returning a particular input and output and if our test cases are failing that we have written in Postman, rest assured, uh, even with the request library in Python or maybe a rest client in Ruby, right? With that we debugging is very, very, very tough in that case. So that was one of the point that I'd like to highlight. The second point here is that poor API documentation. So many times we have, I have seen that uh, uh, developers especially they create a very poor doc documentation of api what exactly their services or microservices or exactly the servers basically provides what kind of api it is what is the main endpoints and what is uh, the exact payload that we need to mention right so they have very poor documentation if you are making this mistake definitely improve it law and the third point i'm there i would like to discuss is that incorrect response code and the status code right this is this happens many many times People are just giving up a random HTTP code or a random response or whenever we do a particular request on all right. So this is uh, again, you should be avoided. And this is one of the frustration factor while doing the API testing, I believe. Uh, so one more thing that you can do uh, means uh, the fourth point I would, that I would like to discuss about is the performance issues. So many times what we have done is that we have created lots of end to end APIs and basically tested it, right? We have creation, we have created an end-to-end -end frameworks, everything works fine, but the performance of the API, especially the servers are not tested. And that was one of the frustration because when we uh, when we are live with the product, right? What happened was that due to, because the performance testing was not done due to these APIs, uh, of these API basically, I mean to say, and the what happens is that they are very slow in the response, and our test cases related to the response time and all right all were failing at in the production also so this was one of the case that happened i mean this is a life example that i can show so make sure that you will performance uh, testing uh, while you are doing the api testing also and you test it out you add certain assertion related to the response time into it for example if your request takes uh, 200 milliseconds add that okay three that 300 milliseconds it should be less than 300 milliseconds so because your user will get uh, frustrated if you haven't done the performance or uh, testing before so uh, because frustration with api testing was the performance issue that we need to be tested out right security issues right this is one of the important point i would like to highlight that right now most of the people are right now moving to the api testing because uh front end or end to end you can say ui functional cases are very coarse uh, expensive, I would say, and these API testers are 
uh, pretty much you can say very less expensive, less uh, efforts are required to automate and they are like certain open source tool that you can create by using it. So security issues are basically issues related to, uh, for example, you have a uh, student creation portal where uh, you do a post request to create a student, you want to fetch a particular student with the ID, right? And the security issues related to, for example, if you are able to access another student's profile or anything related to it, for example, if the API is basically gives you a report card, basically you can access the report card on the user. And if this is related to money, for example, in the banking environment, this can be a very, very, very big mistake, right? So we have, uh, this is one of the biggest frustration is that uh, you need to do a proper security testing of your APIs also. So you have to keep in mind in that case. Again, the mocking of API because most of the time what we have is that the end-to-end -end servers or you can say end-to-end -end environment is not ready. Uh, so what exactly the, uh, happens is that uh, front-end guys use a API mock environment and uh, after when the back-end is ready. So when they integrated and you have written your API test cases, those will not work or sometimes the mocking is different. So that was one of the frustration points that we have encountered and I hope you were able to learn from this mistake, right? Uh, seventh point, which is most important one I would like to highlight, especially for this one is that uh, finding or building the flows of API testing is very important. For example, you have a particular flow, flow right? If uh, get certain repos, create a new repo, update the repo, and basically delete the repo, repo and all, right? So this is your basically a simple, simple uh, API test or API, API building flow, right? Uh, most of the time, what will happen if their particular case broke, and uh, for example, if the second request is not working or third request doesn't return anything at all, right? So building the API flow is uh, an, again very frustrated and you need to handle those cases basically. If you are using a Postman or all, definitely in the previous tutorial I've explained you, you can use set request, set request to null or handle properly. If you are using a rest assured PyTest uh, Py with the request and all, then you need to basically handle all the things. If you get invalid JSON, wrong JSON, no JSON, null JSON, these things that you need to handle properly in your API testing at the API testing frameworks, right? So this, this is one of the biggest frustrations. So this is uh, this is all about the seven uh, biggest frustrations with the API testing that I have encountered and I have shared everything it, related to it. And if you want to learn more, if you want to discuss about it, you can go to club.ministry.com or you can click on this link where people have discussed more things about the biggest frustration of API testing that they have. Uh, encountered and this was the basic task of the day 22. I hope you have learned something from the mistakes that uh, I have done and all the frustrations that I have discussed over with you, right? Uh, thanks a lot for watching till now and uh, if you have any question, comment down below. I will definitely help you out.